Good evening, Daniel Ernesto. Good evening. Good evening, Jennifer Beatriz. Thanks for joining. It is exactly the time, so here we go. Let's get started. Okay, let's begin. I am so glad that all of you are here and I expect that some others are going to join later on uh, this Friday night, okay? And I'm going to start sharing with you class my PPT as every single day that we have been meeting for this class, okay? Do you see my screen? Okay, class, today is September 22nd, and here we go. In the agenda, we have the welcoming, what I did at the beginning. We have the objectives that one of you is going to help me read in. And in the pre-task, we have to identify previous knowledge, again, about human resources prepar uh, preparation. The cycle is to complete a human resource form in your company and one that is in the book. Explain the human resource forms in your company. You are going to be explaining that. And you are going to be also applying vocabulary related to human resources positions. And you will be creating sentences about people in your company and their positions using the vocabulary that we are going to be studying tonight. And here, again, a reminder for homeworks and evaluations. Almost mo most of you have done, almost everybody has finished uh, section number one and section number two. But there are still some people who are owing me section number two on the platform and the midterm test. So I invite you to complete those activities in this weekend, yeah? So I can update your grades. And you have to start working on section number three. Again, the requirements that are here, I'm going to ask maybe Danny, would you like to help me reading this slide? Latilla? Would you please help me reading this slide? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, read it in Spanish. Requerimientos. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyente, agregar la palabra oyente, luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Participación activa. Okay, thank you so much. And that is really important. The last, uh, the last point that you read participación activa, because if you don't practice, okay, when are you going to speak English with others? I don't know if you have someone at work to practice with. That is why it is extremely important, the active participation in class. And uh, we have also the reminder for the attendance, 120 minutes is the expectation that you uh, must be connected every session that we meet here via this uh, virtual classroom. And I'm going to take us every day twice the attendance. The first one at about 8.20 and the other one at about 9.40. And remember, you need, even though you are listeners, but you have to answer. Present here, here I am, or presente in such a way that we identify that you are here. And at the end, one of you is going to stay with me for about 20 min 10 minutes, 10 minutes, uh, in order to reinforce something, okay? And you know about permissions that only in support is allowed for that situation. I don't have the authorization for giving you permission to be absent of class. Again, in Zoom, you have available the uh, microphone, but uh, as Danny read, it is uh, suggested that you have it off unless you are told not to do so. Camera on, the two chats available, the break breakout rooms also, so you can practice, are going to be available. I'm the bottom to ask for help. If I am in another group, you can call me. 
and above all, respect, okay? We need to respect one another in order to have a nice relationship and also with your partners. We are here on week number three. We are on September 22nd. That's why I am telling you that you should start working on section three, week number three. Today is our second session in week number three. So it means that only five days and three eight more classes and the level is going to be over. Very soon you are going to be in another upper level, not basic, no, say goodbye to basic, another upper level, okay? So that's why I'm happy for you because you are working on the platform. And now the objectives. One volunteer to help me reading the objectives, please. I need someone to objectives. help me read. Thank you. General objectives. Participants will be able to write and understand procedures. A specific objective. Participants will be able to describe, describe people in their company and their positions. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants will be able to explain about people in their company and their position and we're writing. Okay, thank you so much. So it means that in the class objective, you will be able to explain, to talk, okay, in a, in a spoken way and in a written way about the people in your different companies, in the place where you work and their positions, okay, in a written way. You're going to express that and then you are going to read it. So class, I'm going to share my, my manual with you, the one that you have, in order to have a feedback, a review of what we did yesterday. If you remember class, yesterday we were working with this conversation, correct? Between Mr. Chang and Dorian. And I would like to have two participants in order to practice this conversation, okay? Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, 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 she provides recruiting, recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters, recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. Hmm. He is the talent management consultant management consultant. Where can I reach him? Where can I reach him? Together, reach him. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Now, two participants, please, two volunteers to read this conversation. Oscar Eduardo, Mr. Chang. And I need another participant to read. Dorian? Me? Okay. Me? Let's begin. Okay. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who is who she is? Sure. She the she the equipment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team or Equator. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work, work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent man management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Very well. Great. Excellent. Two more participants to practice. 
Hello. Time to practice speaking. You. Okay, Miguel and Carla Minero. Begin in the next one, Evelyn, okay? Okay, I start. Okay. Uh, excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she's the requirement coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides requiring administrative support for the team of requirers. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where, where can I reach him? This is mine. <laughs> where can I reach him? Okay, oh, sorry. sorry, sorry. He returns at one o'clock. Okay, very well. Congratulations. Now, Evelyn is going to read Dorian, and who is going to read Mr. Chan? One volunteer, please, to read Mr. Chan. Hello. Sure. Yes. Sure, I have a question. Yes, Miss Ursula Stelin. Uh, I think about the. Uh, Phrase that can you tell me who she is? Mm -hmm. uh, is that correct? Because I yes, think yes. Can you tell because me you, who she is? No, no, that is basic, and you are not basic anymore. No, but uh, no, I, I mean, the structure is not, what you are saying is a basic a structure. And it is okay, but this is more advanced structure. Okay, it is correct. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me who she is? It is a more advanced structure. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's what I was telling you. You are nothing basic anymore. You are over a little bit more. No, language that is used every day, not basic. Okay, so class. Evelyn, you're going to be Dorian. I need one participant to help uh, Evelyn. Okay, who's going to read Mr. Chan? Okay, I'm going to choose the victim. Uh, maybe, mm -hmm. David Emanuel, are you here? Are you in class? Yes, no, he's ah, Okay, so you're going to help our friend Evelyn, she's going to read Dorian and you read Mr. Chan. Okay, let's begin. Okay, excuse me. I am looking for Miss Charles. Can you tell me who, who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically. She provides recruiting, recruiting, administrative support for the team of requirements. I understand. And does Miss Mr. Mir Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, very Thanks. well. Thank you. Thank you, David, for helping us. And if you remember class, yesterday you were answering these two questions, but number two was not so clear the answer because in the conversation, uh, Mr. Chang's Position is not so clear, but when we went over the second part of the class here in the questions, we agreed that he is an external auditor because of the type of questions that he asks, yeah, specific questions and about the duties that uh, these people that he is looking for do in the company. Is that okay? 
here we were reading also about four positions in the human resources department. There must be a recruitment coordinator, a benefit specialist, a talent management consultant, and a human resources generalist, at least one of them. But I don't know if in your company you know how many people work in the human resources department or area. And if you have a, in there in the company, a talent management consultant, a human resources generalist, and the benefits specialist and the recruitment coordinator, or if only, there are only two people working in that uh, in that area and they are multitasking because they do different activities, okay? Remember that nowadays the objective of the companies is to have multitasking employees, yes or no? Because they tell you when they hire you a description of your duties, your obligations, but soon you know that you have to do, okay, more activities. You need to give the extra mile. So this is what we're going to go to the breakout rooms and discuss, okay? How many people do you know that work at Human Resources? Because you have been in touch with them, yes or no? When you ask for permission, your vacations, when the doctor disabilities you, and what else? Ah, if you are a lady, when you are pregnant, you ask for the permissions for the consultations with the uh, doctor and when you deliver your baby also, yeah? Okay, so I think that you are, and actually for the trainings, there are people who are in charge in some companies only for the trainings or I don't know in your company, yes? So I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms and you are going to share with your classmates if you know, if you are aware that in your company there is a recruitment coordinator, a benefit specialist, a human resources generalist, and a talent management consultant. Are the instructions clear, more or less, or not at all? Not at all. No están claras las instrucciones. Ok, los voy a transferir a los breakout rooms. Y ahí ustedes van a discutir qué tanto conocen al equipo de trabajo de recursos humanos de su compañía, cada quien. Y van a comentar si ustedes saben, conocen o han visto que hay un recruitment coordinator, a benefit specialist, a human resource generalist, a talent management consultant, si hay una persona para cada uno de estos puestos o no. Yes? Did we get it now? Okay. Okay. So here we go. And we are, uh, this is part of the feedback class. We are at page 30 for the people who were absent yesterday or had problems with the connectivity. Okay. Five minutes to do that. Uh, Speaking, speaking only, okay? Or maybe you say, I don't know, I don't know the people at Human Resources, yes? Mm -hmm. Because they are in another branch or in another place, in another office. Or yes, I know them. Okay. But before we go to the breakout rooms, because it is uh, the time, I'm going to call your names in order to... Um, have your attendance. Ana Cristina. Okay. Ana Cristina is absent at the moment, right? Andre, absent at the moment. Um, Arely Isabel, absent. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, David Emanuel, David Emanuel, where are you? Here I am, teacher. 
Okay, Danny is here, here. right? Yeah, yes. Uh, David Emanuel said that he's here. He participated. Daisy Carolina. Okay, great. Nice voice. Edwin Esaú, where are you, Edwin? Oh, here you are. Thank you. Uh, Elizabeth uh, Miss Minero. Carla, where are you? Okay, here. Great. Evelyn Yamilet. I am present. Okay. Yvonne Menjibar. Ah, oh, Carla, you look today. You look different. That's why I didn't identify you. Okay. Great. I am the hair salon. Uh -huh. <laughs> to the beauty shop. That's Have great. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God. Enjoy it. Yvonne, where are you? Thank Yvonne. You. Okay. Kilibon is absent at the moment. Okay. Uh, Guillermo Eduardo? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Henry Giovanni? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer Beatriz? Present, miss. Thank you so much. Juan Eduardo Flores, Mr. Flores? Here I am, teacher. Great. Catherine Beatriz? Catherine? Absent. Katia? Uh, Maritza Elizabeth? Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Thank you so much, Maritza. Miguel Angel? Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, Miguel Angel is here. Noé. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, thank you so much. Oscar Eduardo. Present, teacher. Okay, Oscar Eduardo, remember I need you to work on the platform, okay? For your own good. Okay. Great. Oscar Humberto. Oscar Humberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Also, Oscar Humberto, I need you to work on the platform. Reina. Elizabeth, Reina, absent. Rosalie Bon, present. Thank you. Sonia Esmeralda, Sonia, on, stuck on traffic probably. Susan Carolina, absent today. Esteli. Present teacher. Okay. So you're going to share with your partners if you know uh, the staff in your company that is working in the human resources area. Van a compartir con sus compañeros si conocen al staff de human resources y los puestos que ellos tienen y si están los puestos que describimos en el manual. Okay. That's it. Five minutes for the activity. And I, before we go, I'm going to take a picture because somebody said that the phone was about to die, the charge of the battery. If it is possible, please activate your cameras and I'm going to take a picture of you. Okay. Thank you. You see, you look nice, nice smiles. To the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. Say yes, yes. Great. I look at Carla's hairstyle. Wow, miss. You're going to enjoy tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, excellent. That's the spirit. And for the picture also. <laughs> Great. Very well. Okay, class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, okay? If you need any help, please call me. No problem. Uh, let's see. Okay, right now I'm going to share the invitation with you. Okay, join please your groups if you are so nice. Thank you so much for joining.
<gasps> Andre, you're here. Okay. And let me see who else. Jennifer, Esau, yes. Okay. I'm going to double check here, Andre. If it is possible, class, join your groups, okay? So you get those minutes of attendance. Thanks for joining. Nosotros sí tenemos, pero más que todo se limitan en ciertas cosas. Entonces, si no es como que tengan un montón como de responsabilidad. Mm -hmm. I in my case I don't really know the human resources stuff. <laughs> Science we are in different office. They are in an office in Santa Elena. And but um, Yes, I have a recl recruitment coordinator and talent manager consult and I don't know. Yeah, you Maritza. In my case there is only Human Resources Manager, only one person. The recruitment is done in each branch. Okay. Hey, Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Sorry, hello. No problem. Uh, really, I don't know about the... That I... I muchas... Este, sucursales. Oh. In, in all the countries, Daniel, Santa Ana, Cincinnati. Okay, Noe, you yes. say there are many branches. There are many branches. Yes. Branches, sucursales, yes. okay. Yes. Okay, I'm going to write it uh -huh. here. In reality, I don't have much uh, knowledge because the human resource department of my company is located in San Salvador. Venezuela branch. Okay, continue. Okay, I tell. I tell by I I tell by my company. Uh, the company has many branches in the continent American or American continent. For example, uh, we have branch in Ecuador and Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Guatemala, in El Salvador. The human resource is, in, is a requirement no, no hay otro lado. Una requirement en la... Uh, eh, one person is a requirement and another person is a... ¿Cómo digo? A bachelor. Eh, evalúa bachelor. La, la, ah, no. Evalúa... Ajá. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, the, the first person is a interview principal. Eh, uh -huh. He asked the, the question... Uh, and he, when he say that the, the, the recommendation, no. So we could say that he is the recruiter. 
Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, say that require uh, another person uh, is a interview that the uh, trainee and another person say a test uh, as a test and another person as the finally interview. For people. For people, yes. Mm -hmm. Is is for for all Central America. In Ecuador, I don't know, but when uh, studying operation in Ecuador, mm -hmm. uh, the principal interview in the in the in the principal people uh, traveling that El Salvador to Ecuador. Oh. Las personas se las llevaron de aquí para allá con toda y familia. Oh, para really? No se yes. Uh -huh. okay. eh, en, 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 Vinieron, como puede decir, en arrive the people of Ecuador okay. are training in El Salvador for, for the now the processes, the company. Only that. And what about the others? Henry Giovanni, did you share your experience? Okay. <laughs> es que a mí me cuesta un montón. <laughs> that is why you have to practice. Uh -huh. yeah. If you don't know how work your partners, or maybe I can have the chance to help you. Sí. Okay. Okay. Uh, in my company, I know two people to people, human resources, and more you <laughs> and the uh, area like equipment coordinator and human resources general generalist. Okay. Um, the company have three branches. One in the in Nepal, in Nicaragua, in Guatemala. Uh, Henry Giovanni, I have a curiosity. Where do you work? The name of the company that you work for? And the company, your name is Enlace, uh -huh. Entidad Latinoamericana de Cooperación Estratégica. But Entidad you mentioned Lat that there is a branch in Nepal. Yes? Yeah, yeah. And uh, where, where are the headquarters? You know headquarters? The principal offices, the headquarters. Principal offices is in the United States. Ah, okay, great. Yeah, in San Salvador, como dijera, está como en la parte operativa. Okay, operation area. Operations ah, okay. Area. Yeah. Okay. Right. En, ¿Cómo es? Trabajamos en working, en work, en communities de El Salvador, en different department. Excellent. Good job. Mm -hmm. Very well. So you see that you can do it. Uh -huh. Step by step, little by little, you're going to. Okay, very well done. Congratulations. And Miss Esteli? Yeah, I was the first. Excellent. So it means that everybody's done. Yes? All of you share your, your experience. Yes? I Todo think compartieron so. ya. Because Ah, Andre, are you active or, or are you a listener? Andre Pardo, are you active or are you just a listener? Okay, 
He's a listener, I think. Yeah. Okay, class. Thank you so much. And now let's get back to the main session room. Okay. So we can continue with the next activity. Here we go. Very well done, class. Thanks for your active participation. And now we move to the next activity, okay? That was part of the uh, feedback and introduction also to the topic. Because here you're going to notice that in each of the description of the positions, here, bachelor's degree. In other words, in order to be a recruitment coordinator, you need to have a bachelor's degree. You know, un titulo universitario, bachelor's degree, yeah? Um, and then here, you need to have, a, it has a degree in management. Su uh, títulos, sus estudios deben estar relacionados al, a la administración, al manejo, right? the uh, staff management. And uh, there is a um, period of experience of at least five years in the position. And what else? This person opens and posts requisitions, coordinates internal and internal job postings and the like. The like means, et cetera. And also we have here that the person in charge of the benefit specialist position must have also a bachelor's degree, okay? And let's see what else can we identify over here. Mm -hmm. uh, creates a cost-effective benefit programs to provide motivation, incentives, and rewards for effective performance, okay? So probably he needs to be also an administrator or an engineer, yeah? The talent management consultant also, it is necessary to hold a um, bachelor's degree. His, uh, his or her responsibilities, um, this person is responsible for leadership development, career development, assesses performance, learning, and development, probably a psychologist, yeah, or an engineer. A human resources generalist. Also, it is required to hold a bachelor's degree. And here maintains knowledge, knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resources. Probably a lawyer, yes, according to their responsibilities. Responds to inquiries regarding policies, you know, las políticas institucionales, regarding policies, procedures, and programs. So it means that uh, for different uh, professionals, yeah, must be or a um, business administrator for human resources generalist, but he or she must know a lot about the law, yeah? Considering this class, we're going to move to the next activity, and it is like this. You are going to fill in the following forms, okay, for the RC company. 
and you are going to explain them to a classmate. We have here RC company profile form because this is the profile for the talent man management consultant and the others. But here you are going to work on this job title, work location, department, reports to, full time or part time, essential duties and responsibilities, okay? Education and work experience requirements. Employee name. Employee signature. Okay. And you have this other one. The profile form. Job title. Work location. Department reports to. Full time. Part time. Essential duties and responsibilities. Education and work experience requirements employee name and employee signature. At the end, you write your full name and your signature, yes? In, this is a form for the RC company. I don't know how different these forms are in your company. If you had to uh, fill in a form or if the procedure for hiring the staff in the different areas is different, okay? So, class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a completar estos perfiles, ¿sí? Um, let's imagine, but we're going to do it like if you are, um, one of you is going to be the, the recruiter, yes? And I'm going to ask. Let's see. Um, my victim. My victim is going to be, I don't know, I'm going to choose according to the finger. Okay. Mr. Guillermo Abrego Ramirez, are you available? Hello, Guillermo, are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay, we're going to try to uh, model the activity for the class, okay? If I ask you, job title, it is about you, okay? So, job title? Mm -hmm. mm, but I have to tell you, uh, what is my title? The job title, la posición, pues, el, el, el nombre que recibe su puesto de trabajo. Donde uh, está en la uh -huh. Customer service uh, representative. Okay, let's imagine that this is, okay? Customer uh, service service uh, representative, yeah? A work location. Okay, this is what you are going to be doing. I belong to the uh, human resources staff and he is applying for a position in my in the company that I work for because it is not my company. And then I'm going to interview him and I'm going to be filling in the information for him. And then the work location, and you tell me the address of the of the branch, maybe or of the building, the facility. You know facility? Son las instalaciones, yes? Department that you are going to be working, okay? Department, uh, Mr. Abrego? Mm, the department is a um, voluntary changes department. Okay, really, voluntary changes department. Okay, department. I'm going to do, because it is a proper name of the, Okay, changes, but reports too. It means your closest boss, the person that you report to, your... your uh, Diego Lopez. Okay. And then Diego Lopez. In English, no need for the, uh, you know, but I'm going to write it. I have a question. Yes, sir. And this is reports to is references. Can me refer it? Al jefe a quien se reporta. ¿De quién depende usted? Uh -huh. 
su jefe inmediato, reports to Diego López. Hey, I don't know why the letters, okay, it is not. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. This okay. is a, a personal reports information to. for a mm -hmm. profile form. Yes. So it's for apply, apply the, the, it is the, the, profile, the, it is the profile form. Fill in the following forms for the RC company and explain them to a classmate. Yes, this is the profile because you are a candidate for the company RC. Maybe I said in your company you have a different form. Tal vez ustedes en sus compañías tienen un formulario diferente. Si lo tienen que llenar en físico, paper ink en físico, si lo llenan en línea, si se lo llenan a la hora de la entrevista, ¿sí? Eso es lo que vamos a discutir luego. Por eso dice, explain to the classmate. Yes, that is why we are doing this. Uh -huh. Okay, so are you uh, applying for full-time or part-time, mister? Full-time. Full-time, okay. Full-time, okay. Here, we write an X. Uh, your essential duties and responsibilities. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, well, thank you, thank you. And here you describe some of your responsibilities like in this one, okay, in these ones. Here you have these profiles. So it is going to be something similar to this because this is personal, okay? Essential duties and responsibilities. And here I'm going to ask you, okay, now, Tell me about your education and work ex experience requirements, okay? Because in some, when they advertise a position, usually they say that uh, if you need a qualification, if you, in the example, you need to be a bachelor, a bachelor, yeah, in the area that you are applying for or if it is not necessary to hold a university degree, mm -hmm. depending on the position. Or if you have some trainings, you write them here and the requirements, yeah? Mm -hmm. The years of experience, sometimes it, uh, the years of experience that you have is the equivalent in some companies to the uh, university degree yes it depends on the company and then uh your full name sir and here you are please sign okay so you are going to interview that is why here we have to and later mr abrego is going to interview me and he is going to tell me job title yes and then he's going to write my information. Yes, teacher, understand. Yes, okay. That's why you are going to work in the breakout room. So in oh, order to uh, uh -huh. only, only do, do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> is the, in the word location. Ah, uh, uh, you say the, the address. The address. City. City. San Salvador. Um, okay, for example, um, um, San Salvador Roosevelt Street, number uh, 25, to tell you an example, yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah not uh, it's the street and this because I know that it is a headache, but and it is only a practice. Is that okay? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, any other question? Tell me, please. Si hay otra pregunta, háganla. Hello. Okay. Let's go. And in the practice, I'm going to help you if it is necessary. Or maybe other partners are going to help you. Remember, that is why it is very specific for the RC company. It is just a model. But the different forms or the different, uh, you know, um, how can I say processes? They are different depending on the nature of the company. Okay, 
So this is just an example. And then you're going to say, no, I remember that when I applied to my job, it was different because I wrote this and that, and you share your experience. That is the purpose, okay? I'm going to be visiting you, okay? Join your groups if you are so nice, please. Okay, Miss Daisy Carolina, I'm going to uh, share the invitation with you right now, okay? Join your group. And Yvonne, go to your group. And Susana, welcome. Okay, Susan, at this moment. Okay, join your groups and let's practice. Let's try to practice.
maneja los requisitos de los incentivos y quiet de senior manager el number Mm, yo creo que no. El 4 es compensation especial. Porque es responsable para asistir con la administración de todos los beneficios. Ah, ahí, ahí en el 4 quizás es benefit specialist. Y el otro es compensation specialist. El 2. El 2. Uh -huh. okay. eh, number 6. Requiring coordinator. Mm -hmm. El seis, sí. El dos sería. Y requiring coordinator ya lo pusimos. En el seis. Es verdad que no lo hemos puesto. No, eso no lo hemos puesto. En el 1 no pusimos nada. No, no, no dijimos que era tal, no, ¿verdad? Ajá. Talent. Entonces en el 6 sería... Yo digo, dice, develop appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relations, disciplinary action operations. Y el generally HR dice, and dice, Response to inquiries regarding policy, procedures, and programs. Maintain knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regarding. Vaya, entonces le ponemos la dos. Vaya, entonces aquí sería Benefits Specialist. Ese sería entonces, ¿verdad? ¿En cuál? En la número dos. Así me dijo. No, eh, yo le había puesto HR, HR Generalist. Ah, vaya. Y ahí dice Work in Companies Human Resource. Personal. Number three, I think, is Administrative Assistant. Assistant. Okay. Because it says work in a company's human resource or personnel department. Maybe. Vaya, quiero ver number four. Um... <sighs> No. Hello group, finish the activity. No teacher, nadie más contestó. Sí. Yo estoy trabajando en ello, pero me falta todo.
en um, Daniel Ernesto, Dani, where are you? Guillermo, where are you? Guillermo Eduardo. Sí, aquí estoy. Um... You left him lonely, the lonely. No. Ah, Miss Carla has problems with the connectivity. She has been trying to log in, but she, you, she cannot make it. Okay, let's get back to the main session room. Maybe we can get an agreement on that. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance of the class. Ursula Esteli. Esteli, where are you? She's absent at the moment. Miguel Angel. Okay, hold it. Someone is in the breakout rooms. I don't know what happened. Lonely, another one who got a little bit late and was lonely in the group. Okay, Ursula Estelis, uh, um, absent. Susana Carolina. Susana Carolina, Susan Caroline, absent. Again, Sonia. Sonia present, present. Okay, thank you. Present, teacher. Susana Carolina. Ah, okay, thank you, Susan. Rosalie Bon. Present. Thank you. Ana Cristina. Absent. Andre. Andre, where are you? Are you here? Somewhere. Somewhere, but not here. Arely Isabel. Arely. Absent. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. You were in the breakout room salon. Daniel Ernesto. Present. Annie. David Emanuel. David, are you Present. here? Present teacher. Daisy Carolina. I saw you, Daisy. Commuting. I think you are driving, right? Edwin Esaú. Good teacher. Thank you. Miss Carla Minero. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Evelyn. Present. Thank you. Yvonne Menjibar. Present. Thank you, Miss. Guillermo. Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Jennifer. Here. Yes. Okay. Um, Henry Giovanni. Here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Juan Eduardo. Flores. Present. Thank you, Mr. Flores. Catherine Beatriz. Catherine. Okay. Absent. Katia Maria. Present teacher. Thank you. Maritza Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Andre. Here via chat. Miguel Angel Santos. Present, thank you, sir. Noe. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Noé. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Eduardo. Absent. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Reina. Hello, Reina. Okay, absent. Okay, class, here we go. Let's try to answer. Um, I'm here, teacher. Esteli, I was calling your name and nobody answered. Mm. Okay. <laughs> but I'm here. Thing, yes, but the thing is that I began today backwards. Mm, okay. Okay. okay, here we go. So you were the first Thank one. You. Okay, here we go, class. Let's get ready to solve this situation. Okay, in your opinion, class, uh, who is in charge of overseeing both the talent review and performance management processes? Who is that person? Tell me, the specialist. Hello? Give your opinions. Don't be afraid. If it is correct, great. If it is not, we're I, going to correct it. I, I think it's recruiting coordinator. Okay. In your opinion, it's the recruiting coordinator because he is in charge of supervise or keeping an eye on both the talent review and the performance management processes. Let's see here. Uh, coordinates internal and internet jobs posting, has degree management, organizes schedules, candidate inter interviews, opens and post requisitions, works with and supports recruiting team. Okay, another possibility? Talent management teacher. Talent management consultant. Okay, responsible for leadership development, career development, assesses performance. Here, assesses performance. Assess is to give a follow up. Okay, to keep an eye, to keep to give a uh, to keep a track on the performance or um, the way that the employee develops or carries out his uh, activities, his duties. So. Maybe it's better talent management consultant, okay? So we write it over here. Thank you for the participation. Great. Uh, we said uh, talent, talent management consultant, talent management consultant. Very well. Next one, number two. Develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relation, relations, disciplinary actions, and operations. Who's that? Human resources. Human resources generalist. Maintains knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resources. Responds to inquiries regarding policies, procedures, and programs. Let's see. Develops appropriate strategy for clients regarding employee relations, disciplinary actions, and operations. Mm. It could be, but is there another possibility? Is the compensation specialist? Mm -hmm. Ah, because we have we have another one, right? The develops appropriate strategies uh, for clients regarding employee relations and disciplinary actions. Mm. Appropriate strategies for clients. Regarding employees' relations, disciplinary action, operations. Mm. 
what if uh, it is the administrative assistant? I don't know, because develops appropriate strategies for clients, yeah? Regarding or in relation to employees' relationships, disciplinary, act disciplinary actions on employees okay. and operations. Mm -hmm. um, administrative assist. Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it is not a good thing for employees because regarding employees relationships, disciplinary actions, if there is a complaint on the customer's side for that employee. Mm -hmm. And they say, I'm going to give you an administrative or something, right? Administrative assistant. Okay. What about works in a company's human resource or personal department? HR generals. Mm. Human resources generalist, okay. is responsible for assisting with administration of all benefits. Here is all benefits. So it is compensation. Compensation specialist. Yes, compensation specialist. Because here is everything good, yeah? It is not about disciplinary actions or like that, no. Handles administrative requests and requires from senior managers. Benefit specialist. Administrative. Hello. Handles administrative. Mm, well, we wrote here administrative assistant in develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employees relationships because he is the link. But handles administrative requests and requires from senior managers. Uh, which one is missing? It is missing the... Require coordinator. Uh -huh. Recruiting coordinator. Mm, designs and implements overall. No, number six is recruitment coordinator because designs and implements overall recruiting strategies. Yeah. So here, recruitment coordinator. Mm. So let's see which one uh, probably we misplaced, la ubicamos mal, handles administrative requests, la, um, solicitudes. Benefit, benefit, benefit specialist. Benefit specialist is number? Number five. Number, number five. Or is it the other way around? Because it is the only one, benefit specialist. Yes, teacher. Because uh, in a company, who are the people who get the best benefits? Employees or managers? Manager. Uh -huh. So handles administrative requests. Es el encargado de manejar las solicitudes administrativas and queries from senior managers. Teacher, I think that number four, it is number five. And uh -huh. number four is uh -huh. That is why I was telling you that we need to, yeah. Uh -huh. That maybe we misplaced, I told you, yeah. Compensation specialist and here, benefit specialist. Specialist. Okay, now I have a question for you, class. It's almost time. 
do you consider yourself a good employee? ¿Ustedes se consideran un buen empleado o una buena empleada? Yes. 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 Why? Yes. Why? Okay. Tell me why. Because you say because I am responsible. Yes. Responsible. Yes. Ajá. What else? Yes. Puntual. 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 Punctual. Punctual. You you always give the extra mile. Yes or no? Yes. You offer. Uh, overtime, you offer overtime to work overtime, yes? And when they is, uh, you, you work hard, you are hard workers, yes? Overtime de gratis. <laughs> no payment, okay? So you give the extra money. In many companies. In many companies, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Please activate your cameras and okay, class, I need you to continue working on the platform, please, okay? There are people who are owing week number one and week number two. Please do that. I, Henry Giovanni, please stay with me 10 minutes, okay? Henry Giovanni, quédese conmigo 10 minutos, please. Okay, class to the count of three. One, two, three. Great. Nice picture. Okay. Henry Giovanni, you have to stay with the teacher today. Mm -hmm. Hey, class, have a good night, okay? Enjoy your weekend. Okay. Be happy. Be careful if you go out because there, there, are, um, there is an alert for heavy rains, okay? So I need to see you on Monday in class. Behave. Thank you. Enjoy your Thank weekend. You, bye bye. You Take Monday. care. Happy weekend. Bye. Have a good night. Thank Only you, Henry you. stays with me. 10 minutes, okay? Bye-bye, class. Bye. Enjoy your breakfast, Miss Minero. Okay, have a good night. Bye-bye, Mr. Andre. Thank you for joining. Andre, work on the platform, okay? And the same as Evelyn and Carlos and Andre. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Monday. My pleasure. Okay, uh, Henry, let's begin working. Here we go. Okay. Henry, okay. Here, Henry Giovanni. Do you have a problem with the simple present tense? Tiene algún problema con el presente simple? Do, does, <laughs> is, are, yes or no? Do you? Yes, I yeah. do. No, I don't. Okay, here we go. I'm going For a moment. To... <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So that's why we need to be practicing, okay? And it is the time that you have to practice. That's why I tell you, you practice. No matter if you make mistakes. No hay problemas si cometemos errores. The idea is to practice. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. No, y que no he estado practicando mucho, teacher. He estado con problemas de salud. Oh, really? Did sí. you get the flu? ¿Te dio la gripe? No, otros problemas que uh, traigo desde, desde uh, febrero de este año y se oh, me complicó really? hace como un año y medio. Ah, ok. I hope you get better, ok? Eh, you improve your health. Ok, so here we go. The... A uh, simple present tense. Okay, Henry Giovanni, do you remember the grammatical function of the simple present tense? Under which circumstances you are going to use the simple present tense? Do you remember? ¿Se recuerda para qué ocasiones vamos a utilizar el presente simple? Mm -hmm. Para describir qué cosa? To describe habits, yes. To describe mm -hmm. routines, routines at work, routines at home, routines at school, yes. Whatever. And to yes, uh, to say general truths. 
Okay, let's begin with general truth. If we say vegetables are healthy. Esa es una verdad general universal. Yes or no, vegetables are healthy. <laughs> Pero hay otra verdad universal. Esta. People, this is in general, okay? People don't like vegetables. Yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> And then we say people, yeah, people love junk food. A la, la gente ama la comida chatarra. Yeah. So those are yeah. general truths. Here, yeah. you notice in the first sentence, vegetables is plural. That's why we use the verb to be are. Correct? And in the second sentence, people is plural because person, one person. Two people. Two people, three people, four people. It is plural. Mm -hmm. So we say don't because we use don't do for uh i you we and they yes ¿Te recuerda for he she it we use does le recuerdo acá yeah okay here hold it we use do for i you we they. and they Correct. Right. We use yeah. does for he. She. Okay. He. Excellent. For third person singular, correct? But we are going to use in negative the modal auxiliary do or does. Don't or does, does. when we don't does. have the verb to be in the sentence. Vamos a utilizar estos verbos exclusivamente en presente simple. Cuando en la oración no aparezca el verbo to be. Why? Because the verb be is a modal auxiliary. Porque ya el verbo to be es un verbo auxiliar. Aparte de uh -huh. ser el verbo principal de la oración, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces mucha gente se confunde. Porque uh -huh. usan do o don't, doesn't, y usan el verbo to be y no. Cuando tenemos el verbo to be en la oración, no utilizamos ningún otro verbo auxiliar. ¿Ok? And then, this is for a uh, plural, but what about, entonces tenemos acá verdades generales. Ahora, para la rutina también utilizamos el simple present tense. If you say, um, I wake up at, what time do you wake up? Mm -hmm. What time do you wake up? Wake up is when the alarm the alarm starts ringing ring in the morning you open your eyes you wake up what time do you wake up a qué hora se despierta five okay i five. wake up at 5 a.m yes yes, a. yes. A. M. okay great at 5 a.m you wake up Because you open your eyes, yeah? But what time do you get up from the bed? I get up at... Y a hora se levanta. Porque uno es despertarse no sé, la otra no es levantarse. Okay. Una es levantar, la otra es despertarse. Now you listen to me. Hoy yeah. si me escucha. Ok. Sí, wake, sí, up, sí. wake up es despertarse, get up despertarse. levantarse, y get up es levantarse, levantarse. de la cama. Yeah, uh -huh. sí. Ok, what time do you get up? Or you say five more minutes. Depende. <laughs> you take four, five minutes and wow, I have to run. Uh -huh. Depende in, del in, día. In the weekdays, <laughs> in the weekdays, generally? Um, generally, five o club. A la misma hora, immediately. Eh, you wake up and you go to the to take the shower. Yeah. Are you okay? At five. Okay, at five. O'clock. Okay. You don't say, I'm going to sleep uh, 10 more minutes. No. There's no chance. No. Because, because yeah. if you do it. Because... 
because in in Monday mm -hmm. uh three forty a.m. I get up. <laughs> I really. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then you see this. Uh, this is a routine, and I can say, um, for example, Henry. Henry wakes up at five a.m. Okay. I say about you, Henry wakes up at 5 a.m. Because I add the letter S because my subject in the sentence is he, Henry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we don't have the verb to be. We don't have any modal auxiliary because it is a simple sentence in present tense. Yeah. But if I say Henry doesn't wake up at 5 a.m. Okay? I changed this sentence into negative. Yeah. Henry doesn't wake up at 5 a.m. Here the verb doesn't have an S because we are using the modal auxiliary in negative. See? Se fija. Aquí no agregamos la S porque estamos usando el verbo auxiliar. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, cuando yeah. usamos el sí, verbo sí, auxiliar, sí. el verbo no cambia. Yes. And that's it. But yeah. if we change this sentence into question, I say, does Henry uh, wake up at five? A.M. en question mark. Acá, como no tengo el verbo to be, necesito un auxiliar para formular la pregunta. Entonces, utilizo das. ¿Por qué? Porque es para tercera persona de singular. Henry es él. Entonces, uso das. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. De acuerdo. Sí. Ok, muy bien. Pero, ¿qué sucede cuando tenemos el verbo to be? If I say... Your children, your children are nice. Yes. If I change this sentence into question, it should be, ¿cómo sería la pregunta ahí? ¿Cómo cambiamos esta oración a pregunta? Quiero ver. Your children are nice. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y sería is your children are no, nice. No, porque children es plural y aparte de eso, gente, fíjese que tenemos are, ¿verdad? Porque yeah. estamos hablando <ríe> sí, de niños. Sí, sí. Yo no sé cuántos tiene, pero imagino que tiene más de dos o más de uno, por lo menos. Entonces, yeah, 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 yeah. cambiamos la posición del verbo. Are your children nice? Aquí no usamos ni do ni das porque tenemos en la oración el verbo to be. El verbo to be. Solo, solo se cambia, sí. Solo se cambia de posición mm -hmm. y ya se vuelve un poquito más fácil, ¿de acuerdo? Ya. Yeah. So, we use the simple present tense to describe habits, routines, and say general truths. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, Henry. Um, Henry, you have been a little bit sick. Thank you so very much for giving me this extra time, okay? Have a happy weekend. Sweet Thank dreams. You. Have a good night. And see Thank you Monday, you Monday, okay? See you Monday. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.